Hey players, so authorities in Iowa have given an update on the tragedy that occurred at Perry High School. They also identified the shooter as 17-year-old Dylan Butler. Let's get into this story. So according to authorities, they received 911 calls at around 7.37 a.m. indicating that there was an active shooter at Perry High School. Upon arrival, they encountered several victims as well as the shooter who was deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. They then began searching the school and assisting victims. In their search, they encountered uh, an explosive which was neutralized at the school. Unfortunately, there was a total of six victims. Five are being treated at the hospital. One is listed in critical condition. Four of them were students and one was an administrator. There is also one sixth grader that is deceased. Authorities also stated that the tragedy was contained to the high school. Now, they do believe that the school was having a breakfast program. That's why the sixth grader was in the school. The shooter has been identified as 17-year-old Dylan Butler. The investigation is ongoing. They did not release an official photo of the shooter. However, they did say that the investigation has yielded some um, social media posts that were made online prior to the tragedy. So uh, there's a lot of information floating online. I will not be releasing that photo until I get confirmation that that is the actual shooter. Of course, here at the Black Grit News, I'm sending my condolences out to the family and friends of the victim and also a speedy recovery for those who were injured. This is such a tragedy. Um, positive vibes to the entire community. As we all know, when something like this happens, it affects not only the families and friends, but also the entire community. Uh, players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D Movo reporting for the Black Grit News and witness students and faculty either sheltering in place or running from the school. <clears throat> Once inside, they located multiple individuals with gunshot wounds. Officers immediately attempted to locate the source of the threat and quickly found what appeared to be the shooter with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. As additional officers responded, a systematic approach search of the school took place. Officers located during the search of the school an improvised explosive device. The state fire marshal and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms rendered the device safe. Numerous officers from multiple agencies were able to secure the school and verify no additional threats. At the same time, first responders were rendering aid to the victims who were later transported to area hospitals. The shooter has been identified as 17-year-old Dylan Butler, a student at Perry High School. Butler was armed with a pump action shotgun and a small caliber handgun. Butler also made a number of social media posts in and around the time of the shooting. Law enforcement is working to secure those pieces of evidence.